And speaking of things a billion miles away, NASA scientists have achieved a rather remarkable feat. They have been able to revive Voyager 1. The space probe launched in 1977 to explore the outer solar system. And they have done this from over 15 billion miles away from Earth. After NASA's repairs, Voyager 1 has resumed sending important scientific data from unexplored areas following a seven-month pause due to a computer glitch. It's truly astounding. Voyager 1 is the farthest spacecraft from planet Earth. In November 2023, it stopped communicating clearly with mission control and they described it as being stuck in a situation that they called Groundhog Day, where the same negative experiences kept happening. The probe's telemetry modulation unit, part of the flight data system, was sending back a repeating pattern of code that could not be understood from billions of miles away. And fixing this issue is difficult because the flight data system is responsible for collecting and bundling information from the spacecraft's science instruments and engineering data reflecting the probe's health status. At NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory in California, Mission Control on Earth receives this data in binary code, a series of ones and zeros basically, and it took time and some creative thinking for the scientists to decode the spacecraft's confusing code. But once they did, they were able to locate the cause of the issue. They found that 3% of the flight data system's memory was corrupted. You see, a single chip responsible for storing part of the system's memory, including some of the computer's software code, is not working properly. The loss of the code on the chip is what caused Voyager 1's science and engineering data to be unusable. With no way to fix the chip, the scientists split the code up so that it could be stored elsewhere. Let me break this down. Since they could not pinpoint a location large enough to hold all the code, they divided it into sections. They then stored the memory in different spots within the flight data system. There are still minor fixes needed to manage the effects of the initial issue. In April this year, NASA got it to start sending back health and status data. However, data from Voyager 1's four science instruments, which study plasma waves, magnetic fields and particles, remained elusive. And because of this, the mission was suffering. You see, this information is important to show, to show scientists just how particles and magnetic fields change as the probe flies farther away. On May 19, the Voyager team sent a command to the spacecraft to start returning science data and two of its instruments responded, but getting data back from the other two took time. The instruments required recalibration and today all four instruments on Voyager 1 are beaming back usable science data. Voyager 1 is powered by radioactive material which is slowly decaying and reducing their power output. It is currently about 15 billion miles, that is 24 billion kilometers away from planet Earth. Its sister vehicle, the Voyager 2, has traveled more than 12 billion miles from Earth. The two probes launched weeks apart in 1977 have flown by Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus and Neptune. Both probes are now in interstellar space, the only spacecraft to operate beyond the heliosphere, that is the sun's bubble of magnetic fields and particles that extend well beyond Pluto's orbit. They are the sole extensions of humanity outside the heliosphere's protective bubble and they are alone out there as they travel in different directions. Voyager 1 moved up after passing Saturn, while Voyager 2 passed over the top of Neptune and moved down. They are helping scientists learn about the comet-like shape of the heliosphere and how it protects planet Earth from energized particles and radiation in interstellar space. After 47 years, the Voyager is beginning to show its age. For several years now, the operations team has been gradually shutting off heaters, its backups and other non-essential elements so that they can preserve its power for key operational and scientific instruments. Around 2026, however, they will have to begin shutting down science instruments. The Voyagers will keep transmitting even once all their scientific systems are shut down. But by around 2036, they will pass beyond the range of receivers on Earth, continuing their journey further into the universe in radio silence.
To stay up to speed with the latest news, download the Weon app and subscribe to our YouTube channel.